Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, in the last episode, we rebuilt this Dodge Charger, and we managed to squeeze out 1,016 horsepower, and we managed to take it up to just over 200 miles an hour, or exactly 346 kilometers an hour for you um, European fans. Um, but in this episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Challenger. Now, the Challenger, I prefer over the Charger. I mean, some people will prefer the Charger. Uh, they are both sort of the same car, but with a different style. And some people prefer one to the other. I would definitely say I prefer the Challenger over the Charger. But that is a personal opinion. Um... Please don't come and hunt me down with a knife. I do not need that today. <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be uh, removing all of the body panels first of all. I don't know why I didn't do that a second ago. Um, so we're going to make sure that all of these body panels are removed and repaired. We are then um, also going to be removing the engine, sorting out all the engine parts, and then... Um, once that's done, in the next episode, we'll then rebuild all of these suspension. So, we've got to strip the car first. Um, did we take out the trunk window? Yes, we did. We haven't taken out the tail lights, though. Uh, that part is floating, and so is that part. I don't think that should happen. Um, I think there's some um, magic going on here, and it needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to remove the engine, first of all. Um, let's... I think we've got to get under the car first. Uh, take a look at the gearbox, and remove that. Oh! This is in a bad state. This car is in a very bad state. Oh, a mount. There we go. Here we go. Let's remove the starter motor. Then we can take the gearbox out. And I think for this one, we need to actually take the exhaust sections out for some reason. And then once we've done that, if we lower the car, we should be able to take the engine out. Uh, let's take it to the lifter, A. Eh? That car still looks amazing, though, over there. Absolutely amazing. Um, right, let's remove the engine. Uh, okay, nice. Engine is removed. Now we need to remove all of these parts and take apart the suspension and the exhaust section. And then once we've done that, we need to decide what engine we're going to use. Um, so let's get ahead with it. Oh, those are some seized up brakes there. I definitely wouldn't want to trust them. How on earth would you drive this to the, like, garage? You you would have to take it on the back of a trailer. There is no way around that. Oh, it's in such a stay. It could have been at least look up, looked after. But that goes on to a very good point of a feature that I want to see added into the game is uh, actual realistic damage to an extent. So, for example, crashing won't like completely wreck your car straight away because then it'd be pointless. You wouldn't drive the cars. But as you drive them, you take them out for spins and that. And as you drive them, the part condition for certain parts that get worn out quicker will wear out. And you have to go in and replace those. Um, 
to be able to carry on using the car. If it's obviously like damaged to the point it won't start, for example. I also want to see a, um, in the next game, I mean, a Microsoft collaboration to be able to have a better handling mechanic would be absolutely amazing. But I know that is like, that's not going to happen. Not in a million years is that going to happen. So, um, what I would want to see is a slight improved handling mechanic. Um, what have I done? Get back over there. There we go. So, a better um, handling mechanic. And also, um, just all round, um, like, performance fixes. But other than that, I absolutely love this game. Like, I don't have a single thing to pick out from it. Because it... I say a game should do one thing really well. Then do a lot of things okay. Or is it one thing perfectly, then do a lot of things really well. However it is. So, for example, Red Dead. It just does a lot of things really well, but... At that point, it's not really interesting. Whereas this, it does the one thing that it wants to do perfectly, which is being a mechanic, fixing cars. And to be honest, all those extra things, they're not necessary. They're just nice features that we could have added. And um, I, I would really love to see some of them, to be honest. I would love to see... Like, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos and a couple of live streams that I've done. Um, is Bugatti DLC. Absolutely amazing if they could get that. Um, I think we also said we wanted to see... Um, some other interesting DLCs. Um, basically, just new engines. Like... There's no point bringing out a DLC for um, Audi, for example. They don't do anything new. But, if they were to bring out a DLC for the, um, for the Bugatti, that would be absolutely amazing. Right, so next what we got to do, we got to uh, remove the leaf springs and take out our shock absorbers. Um, because they are rusty as hell. Um, fuel tank. Yep, get rid of that. Then we got, uh, this side to remove. We got to take all the parts out of this side. Aye. There we go. And there's those ones out. Uh, rubber bushings. Ta-da! <coughs> and that is the entire car dismantled. Right, so what we need to do, we need to take a look at what engines we've got. So we've got the option of the two carb supercharged. Um, do you know what? I'm going to, for this car, I'm going to put the stock engine in, um, but not stock. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the 6P in with a performance part. Now we just got to find it, because practically every single car seems to have a V8 in this game. Uh, there we go. 6P. Uh, to be fair, they're both the same engines in the Charger and the Challenger, which is pretty interesting. Right, so we're going for V8 OHVC parts. Um, 
V8. Let's take a look at some of these parts. <coughs> right, so we need to... Uh, what is here? Have we got... Okay, I'm guessing we're going to need those arms. <coughs> uh, OHVCs. Do we have any... Uh, let's let's try this out for now okay so we got that and we need to flip the engine over first of all um, so we need uh, what crankshaft is that we are looking at a VA OHVC crankshaft yeah that makes sense and a V8 OHC, OHVC camshaft as well. OHVC. Then we need some rod caps. And I can guarantee you we're going to need some of these. Yes. Okay. Um, right now what we need is some... Rings. Piston rings. Oh wait, hang on, we got VAHVC. And I'm guessing we're gonna have VAHVC pistons as well. Yes. No, they're normal ones. I swear that says V8OHVC. Oh well. Uh, eight of them, and then eight of these. There we go. Rod caps. Okay. Uh, crankshaft bearing caps next. Three. Uh huh. Nice. Nice.
Ta-da! Right, uh, what is that? A OHVCs. Uh, let's take a look at the oil parts. <clears throat> the only bright orange part in the whole thing. Oh, they got a V8 oil filler. Hmm, interesting. Right, now we need to look for a camshaft. Uh, V8. OHVC, nice. Uh, got the cam gear. Uh, there probably is also the <coughs> the timing mechanism somewhere there we go okay that should be good Nice. Uh, ignition coil. Where are you? We need a <clears throat> water pump pulley. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. There we go. And then we also have a crankshaft pulley that we need. Is the OHV style. Uh, let's fit that onto there. I think we've bought all the belts already that we need. Um, hang on, what is that? OHVD. Okay, so we need OHVD uh, engine heads. So we're going to take a look at the performance store. Uh, V8. They don't have OHVD engine heads. Um, did we already buy the engine heads though? Yes, we did. That's so weird that there's no performance version. Um, so we're probably not going to make this as powerful as expected. So what I'm planning on doing then is to make it... Uh, go round corners better, basically. And then an OHVE intake manifold, which is, again, really weird.
Uh, just double check that it's not that. Yeah, it is that. Hmm. Kind of disappointed. So we're looking for V A O H V E carburetor to C, B, and C. Now, carburetors, I can guarantee you we have them. There we go. That is looking nice, the shiny carburetors. Uh, I know definitely we had a V8OHVE here. Okay, no we didn't. That's great. Alright, um, again, performance parts. I know we definitely have ignition distributors. So we shall buy one of them. Um, I also want to have a look for V8D. OHVDs. We've got two of them. Um, and then we also need our ignition distributors, our f uh, fuel pump, fuel filter. Right, I'm going to buy V8 wires and V8 OHVH wires. Because I think they might be the H wires. I have a feeling. Um, clip B. <clears throat> This engine is looking nice. It looks really cool. <coughs> ah. Um, okay. Uh, let's chuck this on. Spark plugs. <clears throat> right. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. I feel like um, these engines are quite repetitive. So, um, <coughs> if you guys have any sort of like questions that you want me to answer in these videos, so that I'm not like constantly repeating myself saying the same thing over and over again, uh, if you guys do let me know in the comments, then I will be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Because um, right now, I think I need to find something else to talk about. Um, OHVF power steering and an I6B. Why? Just why? Um, power steering pump. OHVF.
alternator I6B. Uh, belt B goes on. OHVF. Uh, radiator fan B. There we go. Nice, that's looking nice now. Um, so what we need to do, we need to install all of these push rods. Um, so we need OHVF push rods. There we go. And then do we also have... Uh, OHVF rocker arms. We've got OHVDs. So I'm hoping those are them. Okay, so yeah, it must be the OHVDs because normally a rocker arm will pop up straight away. This is such a mishmash engine. I'm glad in the last episode I built a normal um, two carb supercharged because this would be a nightmare. Okay, so then we need engine head covers for the, uh, what is that? OHVDs, again. There we go. And then just fit in some brand new rocker arms. And then OHVD again. Head cover. A. And there's another one. And OHVD wires. OHV. There we go. So uh, let's just do the flywheel, typical thing that we do. Uh, we need gearbox, clutch release, bearings, and then we need the performance gearbox parts here. And then what we can do is just fit them in like this. There we go, all the parts are in, 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.